While conducting research on miniature high-temperature devices for the Air Force under their Small Business Innovation Research Program, Energetic Materials and Products, Inc., EMPI, was approached to discuss morphing the technology into a handheld breaching tool. What the SWAT teams or, or the special ops teams are trying to do is gain entry as quickly as possible to limit the probability or the possibility of whoever's behind the door of hurting any of the hostages that are there and also being aware of the entry team as they're coming in. Other products out there that are thermal erosive cutters, they're bulky, they're heavy, and they're hard to manipulate. Whoever's handling that piece of equipment, they're encumbered because they've got a large piece of equipment on their back. Now they're no longer part of the assault team that's going into the particular facility. Breaching tools are not new to the market, but they needed to be smaller, more lightweight, and more efficient to allow for faster entry and to create the element of surprise. We have heard about a requirement from Special Operations Command for a thermal breaching torch. The Air Force Research Lab through the SBIR program provided funding to EMPI to develop Tech Torch. Basically, we started looking at a lot of different reactive materials or thermites, and then we start testing those things systematically. Then we investigated a whole range of nozzle shapes in order to accelerate the jet and form it into either a knife edge or a hole for different cutting targets. Tech Torch definitely replaces the bolt cutters. It's much quicker, it takes less effort, it's less weight on the, whoever the breacher is, and you don't have to worry about a, getting an optimal angle in order to cut the particular metal that's behind it. It has a combination of a high temperature, like 5,000 degrees Fahrenheit, and a high velocity, about 100 meters per second, dense metal vapor jet. One of the more difficult targets to breach is a steel case door that's in a steel frame that has a deadbolt in it. With the Tech Torch, you can shoot through the steel case door and cut the deadbolt behind it. Everybody can have one on their vest, so you don't have to have a person designated to breach. That way you can have four or five entry points simultaneously, and that's what you get with the element of surprise. Anything funded through the Air Force Research Lab, SBIR contract, should have a military and civilian application. So Tech Torch was also designed for police firefighters and other emergency response agencies like FEMA. Whenever there's a natural disaster somewhere, such as an earthquake where you've got fallen buildings and you have areas that you have to get into, it's a much better tool for them than what they currently are carrying. Cuts through three quarter inch steel bars in less than two seconds. Boat goes down, it has a lock on the door. You need to get inside to free someone. You can take that lock off underwater. But the Tech Torch actually works underwater also. With the ever-increasing security threat throughout the world, it's critical that military and police personnel have state-of-the-art tools to accomplish their mission. One of the targets that the French ran up against in one of their assaults on a house in, in Paris, the door had been replaced with a full sheet of steel. And if they'd had something similar to the Tech Torch, they could have easily burned through that. Tech Torch has proven to be an indispensable tool for military, law enforcement, and emergency responders throughout the world. So without that SBIR program, things like this would just not be possible.